What's going on guys, it's your boy CMB, back in the building, back with another video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get into this one really quickly guys. So once again, it is fight week guys. Uh, we're just coming off of a great fight from last weekend. Uh, we had Shakur Stevenson defeat Oscar Valdez, uh, becoming a unified champion at 130 pounds. Uh, it was a great fight. And I'm, I'm hearing he's looking to become undisputed in that weight class. Uh, so congratulations to him, by the way. Now this week, we're moving all the way up to light heavyweight, uh, seeing the return of the base of boxing. Of course, I'm talking about Canelo Alvarez. Uh, it goes down, guys, May 7 at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Now you guys know Canelo Alvarez is a four division champion newly crowned undisputed champion at 168 pounds making history becoming the first mexican to ever do it uh 57 and 1 39 ko's uh he only had that one loss to floyd mayweather of course and uh he's just a superstar all around the world now he's making his ring return like i said he's going up to light heavyweight and he's looking to become undisputed in that weight class as well and on a side note, I will say this, I think it's going to be a lot tougher uh, to become undisputed at light heavyweight uh, than it was at 168 at super middleweight because uh, they have some killers uh, here at light heavyweight. So, you know, he's got a big mountain to climb uh, in, in this division. Now, the guy he's taking on uh, is the WBA champion, Dimitri Bivol. Uh, let's just take a look at him. Dimitri Bivol, he's 19-0. Uh, 11 KOs, uh, 6 feet tall, 72 inch arm reach, and uh, has a stellar back, amateur background. I think he has almost 300 fights. Uh, he won a gold medal at the World Combat Games in 2013, and he has signature wins over Sullivan Barrera, uh, John Pascal, and Joe Smith. And if you guys don't know, Joe Smith is a champion at uh, light heavyweight. He's a WBO champion hard-hitting fighter uh, and he's I think he's unifying sometime this year with better be uh, who is a champion as well uh, so we'll be looking out for that fight at, when it comes on down the line now the question is is this Canelo Alvarez's toughest fight since Triple G and I'm gonna say this I think it's a tougher fight than Triple G in my opinion uh, because of the skill set of Dimitri Bivol, you know, I, I've, I've looked at tape on him, I've seen some of his fights, uh, I'm going to say this, uh, he's a slick fighter, uh, he has excellent footwork, uh, he has, he throws, he throws lightning speed combinations, guys, uh, and he has power in both hands, uh, he understands range and distance, and he is just a well-rounded boxer, uh, he's a boxer puncher, and this is going to, I think he's going to give Canelo Alvarez problems in this fight. I'm not saying that he will win the fight, but I think he's he's a very tough competitor uh, than his last fight with Caleb Plant. Caleb Plant was a, is a slick fighter, but the only difference is, uh, is the power game in my opinion. Caleb Plant didn't really have that power. Uh, he just didn't have that dog in him. Uh, but where Dimitri Bivol, he, he differs there. And he's a Russian fighter, if I didn't mention that. So this is definitely uh, a, a tougher fight for Canelo Alvarez, in my opinion. Now, you can't count Canelo Alvarez out because, you know, just because he's moving up to light heavyweight. Uh, he, he did fight there once. He, he fought Kovalev, but, you know, Kovalev was a little bit older. Uh, this guy's younger. He's in his prime. So this is going, this is going to be a hell of a fight, in my opinion. Uh, and like I said, Canelo Alvarez is going to have his work cut out. At, at, at light heavyweight but like I said you can't count Canelo Alvarez out you know a lot of people see him see him as unbeatable uh, Canelo Alvarez is a hard-hitting puncher as well uh, he's economical in his punches you know and he has great punch placement and you know he excellent timing great counter puncher uh, great uh, upper body movement he, he's a great fighter He's a great fighter. I know a lot of people want to deny that, but he's done an excellent body of work. And he's sharp because he was so busy uh, last year running the gauntlet at 168 pounds. So he, he's going to be well prepared. And he's a gym rat, and he takes the sport seriously. 
But yeah, this is his toughest fight in my opinion. Uh, since Triple G, a tougher fight. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing who uh, takes takes the crown in this uh, showdown. And like I said, it's May 7th at the T-Mobile Arena. So you guys tell me what you think about this fight. Uh, who do you have? Do you think Canelo Alvarez uh, will go up to 175 and, and uh, just take all the titles? Do you think he'll be able to get past Dimitri Bivol? Or do you think it's Dimitri Bivol's time to shine? You guys let me know in the comment section. It's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.